welcome back to another episode of Learning with Claw. I would like to welcome you back to my channel. Thank you ever so much for showing up. Uh, so today we are going to do this look using this palette. It is the I, the I Want Candy palette from Too Faced. And these are the colors. So if you want to see how... I was able to turn this into this. I think that's how that goes. Anyways, yeah, just stick around and uh, keep on watching. Because, oh, and you know what else I didn't do? I haven't set my face yet. So you guys, we're going to do the ending at the beginning, right? Oh, yeah. So I use my favorite iconic London glow spray setting. And we're just going to do this. So I am that person that literally forgets, always forgets something. If I'm going somewhere, if I'm doing something, I will forget something I need. It doesn't matter. So, are you guys like that? Oh, I hit myself in the nose. But yes, this is the best... I love this. This actually helps me get dry really, really fast. And we are very green doing it because we are using woman power. Because there's nothing to plug in or do like that. But, oh, come on. Just dry. Okay. Yeah. Ah, sorry. But, <laughs> anyways. This is our completed look for today, and if you want to see how I did this, please join me and continue to watch. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and continue to follow me on this journey. I think we're getting better. I think we are, so if I'm not, please let me know because I will be, I'm just in a state of denial then. But if I am, hell yeah, let me know that too. I don't know. Let me know how your day is. Let me know what's going on. What's up with you? What do you guys want to see? Let me know. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. And you guys will see me again soon. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Learning with Claw. Today I wanted to do just a, basically just doing a look with the Too Faced I Want Candy uh, palette. And I bought this I think in 2017. So I've had it for a while as you can see and uh, I don't really use it that much, I need to. So I was figuring might as well just try anyway um so comes with this nice i actually like this it's a uh, it's paper it's not plastic so that's nice about that and ooh and i just poked my palette so anyways um let me do my eyebrows get primed up and everything i'm already moisturized that's first thing you should do every single time is always make sure face is clean and you moisturize everything. I use an eye cream and a face oil along with my face cream. So that just makes it. And I use different ones like I just finished the IT Confidence in a Cream and now I'm on 111 Skin and I'm using the 111 Skin uh, Serum Drops and everything. So yeah. And uh, nice. So I will see you guys soon. <laughs>
Okay, so we have just finished putting on our eyeshadow primer. I used the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and original. It's a little mini. Oh yeah, they make stuff in little mini sizes, yo. They make stuff like more affordable. Anyway, so anyway, so let's get on to our beautiful I Love Candy palette. Uh, yeah, I bought it in 2017. I guess it's one of those uh, limited edition things. But I was probably thinking about doing... I don't even know. I was, honestly, I was thinking about this one. And I think that's what we're going to do. So, yeah. We're going to do the first selection. And I'll, I will show you guys this a lot more up a lot closer as you can see so the colors are beautiful in here and every like so this right here these four shadows and this shade is a color story this shade and these four are color story and this and this is a color story and I think for today I don't know this is kind of like calling to me but that black is like super black so I think we're going to stick with our original, and we're just going to go in. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a nice fluffy brush that's going to pick up the product. And taking this, what is this? It's a Moda Studio Brush Fluffy. And we're just going to dip into Banana Cream Pie and... Ooh, there's, oh yeah, there's fallout. <laughs> but there is, as it's a, um, it has a banana tone to it. Like, it's got a yellow tone. So this is just going to be our little, oh yeah. That cover, oh, yep, that covered very, very well. So basically, this is my little buffer to put all the other shadows on to be able to uh, blend better for me because I feel like if I don't have this an eyeshadow, a setting, like a setting powder or something, basically my setting powder is uh, these colors of eyeshadows that just blend into your skin or like are that soft color so anyway sorry for my rambling um, next what we want to do is we're going to take my favorite crease brush which is always so hard I need to find I have not found any more for sale in the store it's an elf brush and it is hiding from me and I know, okay, there it is. See? Always hiding. What is this? This is a pro, uh, dang it. It's a blending brush. It's supposed to be a blending brush. But as you can see, it's like higher there and then it goes lower there. Anyway, uh, we're going to dip this color in. Ooh. We're going to dip into Butterscotched, which is going to be this color right here. There is Kickback. Kickback is what it's called. Okay, so we're going to do this and continue on.
so after you have both eyes done, you want to take a large, I actually have a Luxie large eye blending brush, so I think I might actually have the right brush for the right application process. Trying to get like more technical with it, but all you want to do, you want to take all this that you've done and just basically blend it out a little bit so that way it's not all, you know, I guess, whatever. If you like the way it looks, keep it the way it looks. It's all up to you. Okay, and as you can see, that softens it up and gives it, it softens it up, basically. Next up, we're going to take a con, my e.l.f. contour brush, and it's just a round brush. Anyways, we're going to dip into pastry, which is this one here. Can I do it? Yep. Oh yeah, we're tapping it. We are tapping that. Bam. And then we're just gonna put it in our crease. As you can see the fallout that is happening so you can see it like it's on the lid and stuff but uh yeah this is why I always do my foundation everything afterwards is I do this stuff and then it falls on to the foundation stuff or I'm trying to put it on and then I like wipe my I have to touch myself just like that anyways um yeah so, it does have fallout and everything, but ain't nothing that can't be fixed. Oh, it's alright if you mess up. It's part of life. Living and learning and fixing it. Oh, so this shadow is like soft. And yeah. <laughs>
but we are gonna have to keep it until after we finish doing our face though we can do our bottom lashes or bottom under eye oh yeah well, it's not as it's not as deep as I wanted but it's only so far you can go with that color so um, let's dip in to and use another little pencil brush and let's dip in into some hot chocolate oops that's got some color so let's see what that does oh yeah much better Okay, so I decided to actually go like a little deeper with it and just, uh, yeah. And this is. So we just want to buff it and do it in little circles towards your eyebrow and out. And then same here, you just want to buff it and you want to buff it up and towards your eyebrow and I do little circles cause that's what everyone told me to do so I'm trying to like cause every time I do like the little like this then it does a little it likes it makes it muddier I guess you would say so do, do, done with that me and my tongue tiedness I'm gonna dip into it a little bit more and just darken up my area that I decided to add to instead of just doing the crease now we see people doing this and I'm all like well I should do something like that too and I never have and then like I accidentally went into my eyelid and it looked decent so that's how we ended up here just in case you were wondering which I'm sure you probably weren't but there's my word vomit for the day so and then, uh, yeah, fun times. Just little things like that, but do any of you guys have this palette? I know it's like three years old now and all this other stuff, but yeah. I'm, I'm still, I'm liking the way the colors and everything that work, apply. Still freaking tiniest bit of color on there just so we can darken this up just the tiniest bit and don't worry see we can clean all of that off but this is what we are up to at the moment and uh yeah I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a half cut crease and I'm going to take my Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. Um, see, can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There we go. Anyways, I'm going to take my little, little flat pencil. Or brush flat pencil. I was using a pencil brush and that's why we're stuck on that right now. But then we buffed it out and everything, and what we want to do is put just, just a smidge, because we're going to go like this, okay, I think I might need more, but that's the good thing is because you can always add to really hard to take away it's kind of like cooking yo oh yeah 
whenever you like add too much salt, too much sugar. Oh, so funny story. While we're watching me do this and I'm doing this, I tried to make some uh, two ingredient mousse that I found on a YouTube uh, cooking thing. So I did everything that it told me. Basically, it was like use an entire bag of chocolate and everything. I made a chocolate one, and I made a white chocolate one, and let's just say I'm going to be using at least only half a bag because I felt like diabetes in a freaking cup, and I got like half a spoonful down, and then other thing, made my white, so I made the chocolate one first, right? Came out amazing looking and everything else makes freaking white chocolate one. I guess I didn't melt the chips all the way or something. And next thing I know is, uh, yeah, that stuff looked all chunky and nasty and I didn't want to feed it to anyone. I tasted it. It tasted like straight up white chocolate. So, but yeah. Okay, now that we have our cook half cut crease made I'm actually like pretty impressed with myself right now I'm not even lying thought it was going to be looking a lot worse than what it was and honestly like in person it needs other stuff but you can tell like on camera it looks decent and now ooh, a little, little oh it's a really long one okay came out uh, next, we're going to dip into this sweet toffee color, and that's going to go on the parts of our lid that we've done the cut crease in. Honestly, I really, really, really love, love this copper color. This color is like so beautiful. And I totally forgot to tell you guys, but this palette smells like candy. So probably one of the reasons. But yeah, smells delicious. And I'm just over here like trying not to go into like some kind of sugar craze. Well, Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. Um, yeah. So, let me... I kind of don't want to buff it out, but... I don't know. Let's see. Let me just make sure... Pack sure... Picture. Pack all the color on here. Make sure it is completely saturated in every spot that I have put my cut crease which I do believe it is if you want to inspect for yourself I'm over here trying to clean my brush and then now basically I'm going to take my Farrah what the heck are you 35E, this is what I use for my eyelids, and this is just gonna lightly go over it to buff it together. Just go like that, and just 
barely lightly go over it to buff it together. And then, yeah, let's see, didn't buff that one enough. Do, 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 do. Okay, so let me put on my foundation and the rest of my stuff and then I can finish my eyes. I will see you again. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. We have our foundation, concealer, contour, blush, highlighter, powder, and now we need to finish the bottom part of our eyes. So what I want to do is dip into pastry, which is going to be this top brown here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take us a nice little... Let's see, I had one too. Sorry about that. Let's see, I had a nice little small brush that was like perfect for this. And I don't know where it, here it is. So, clean it off again. So, just nice little small brush. This is a Moda Studio brush. I'm just going to dip into pastry. And we're just gonna smoke it out. And connect it somehow. And there, yeah. I like how that looks. Here's to the intrepid explorers, driven doers, and off-road adrenaline addicts who've made Polaris America's best-selling off-road lineup. It's time to celebrate during the Polaris New Year's sales event. And then if it goes too much, just clean it up. Oh yeah.
Okay, so let me do my mascara, put my lipstick on, and I'll be back. And here we have our completed look. So I went ahead and I put on some lipstick, some mascara, finished the bottom eyeliner part, and that's how we came out. So actually, I'm not mad at this look. Probably should do this more. And yeah, pretty pretty happy with it I guess you would say so you know got that going for us and I hope you guys enjoyed this time um thanks for joining me and don't forget to hit like subscribe join me again for some more looks and we'll see how this is going okay and my phone went out right there so uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and join me for more videos uh Let's continue along this journey and keep at it. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day and stay tuned. See you again.